Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to make a video today to show you my couple of my newest canteens I got for my collection. These are the Mark 7 British Army Canteens. And uh, let me say right here from the very beginning that I am not an expert of the history of these canteens. I know they've been making these in different variations for many, many years. I know these are the Mark 7. I know that. I know enough of that because of, and I'll show you how I know that during the video. Um, so that makes them probably post war. Except for the webbing, the canteen carrier, those are a little different, and the straps. The shoulder strap here, it's a little different. So let me let me break this down one canteen at a time. Let me show you the difference between the two. They're they're both Mark 7, but they each have a little different characteristics. So sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this this first canteen here. And as they call it in um, in England, they call it water bottles. So I think the canteen thing is is an American thing. Um, some things about this: it is a steel construction canteen with a, a green enamel on the outside and on the inside. So this canteen came to me in pristine condition. It it's beautiful inside. I don't even know if it was ever used. Um, none of the coating has been chipped off on the inside. Um, the outside is covered with this uh, green looking blanket like wool material. Okay, and that was put on there to help silence the steel, you know, from banging around and causing attention. Also, it helped to keep it from freezing, just um, give it a little bit of protection there. The cover is not easily removable. It is actually sewn on. So in order to inspect the canteen better, I'd have to cut these threads here, remove this top, and then I'd be able to look at the actual body of the canteen, okay? Uh, it has a, as you can see here, a cork stopper for the top. Pretty cool. Makes it look really cool. It has this string attachment here, uh, an eye bolt type setup here in the cork. And the bolt goes all the way through here with a nut, which is really nice. Uh, one of the canteens had, when I would put the cork in, it would leak a little bit. All I had to do was turn the eye bolt just a little bit and tighten that up, and it stopped it from leaking. Okay. Now, what makes this a Mark 7 compared to a Mark 6 is. This string is shorter uh, by spec. I think it was only nine inches long for a Mark 7. Mark 6 was nearly double that, or it was double. I think it was 18 inches, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. And then what really sets it apart is this right here. There's a loop here. I hope you can I can get that on the camera. Very hard to see because this cover kind of partially covers it up, but there is a loop. A metal loop that is welded onto the side of the canteen before they enameled it and that's the anchor point so when you take the cork off you don't lose your top your stopper top whenever you're using it okay mark that makes this a mark 7 for sure uh, mark 7s were uh, made during World War II and then in the uh, they made a lot during post-war um, just because of the shape of this canteen, I would have to guess it was it's post-war. Um, some canteens, I understand, you can take this top off and look underneath here, and there's a date stamp there. But I'm not willing to cut the strings off there just to see that. Um, I have a feeling it is post-war. Anyways, it is a kidney-shaped canteen, as you've already seen. So it lies flatter against the, uh, the back of the... Uh, of the soldier uh, it is a rounded molded top see how if you look here closely how it's kind of rounded and goes up okay and then there's no seam here at the top I can feel it through the cover that it's a molded top to it however the bottom it's got what they call tin can bottom to it okay it's got like a lip around here where they crimped it when they built it so if you picture like this 
tin can here how it has a lip how they sealed this that is just like it's very similar to what we have here okay on the bottom okay here's some specifications of the of the canteen itself or water bottle whatever you want to call it um, it holds a little bit more than the USGI canteen this guy holds one and one-fourth quarts of water so you get just a little bit of advantage on capacity uh, compared to the USGI one but it weighs 14.3 ounces or 406 grams empty with no water in it so it's quite a bit heavier than the USGI canteen that's without the webbing and the strap that's just the, the body all by itself empty if you fill it up with the water to the bottom of the neck it weighs three pounds six and a half ounces that's full of water so you, it's a little better you get a little bit more water for those of you who live here in the United States but it weighs a little bit more okay um, let you get an idea about how big it is it's about five and a half inches wide somewhere around there and if we get a measurement here let me get it so you guys can see it to the top of the neck it's a little over eight inches to the very top where the eye bolt is here on the cork it's about nine and a half but that's going to vary a little bit with this cork as it sets more into the neck as it wears it's going to get shorter and shorter so there's a few specs for you guys who really care about the, uh, that type of stuff. So now let's talk about the webbing or the canteen carrier. Uh, this one is made of a very thick canvas type webbing, sewn very well. I mean, great craftsmanship here. Nice buckles here to attach to the shoulder strap. Okay, and it goes all the way around. I mean, you can tell the stitching was done very nice. Okay, and there is a date inside here. Let me turn it around. I found this date stamped on the inside. It is 1954 and it has a nice arrow there that points up. Okay, I don't know who the manufacturer is, uh, unless you can tell by looking at this. If you, do, if you know who the manufacturer of this is, let me know. Uh, that'd be nice to know. All right and it has the part that goes across the top of the canteen it has a snap so that's very important to know I think this is uh, made in England it's, itself um, judging by the snap that it has there I guess it possibly I don't know could have been Canada but I think it's England if I remember right what, what I was reading Okay, so let's go on to the shoulder strap, which attaches to this carrier with these two buckles. There's a buckle on each side. Okay, nice thick webbing material, very nicely made. And it is sewn here for a wider shoulder strap. And if you look here, it says MWNS 1943. The MWNS stands for um, Martin. Wright and Sons and I have to assume that the uh, 1943 was the date it was manufactured and it looks like that smudge if you look at in the right light it looks like another one of those arrows like what was over here with the 1956 okay or 54 I'm sorry 1954 all right so that's the first canteen and its carrier Okay, on to my second one, which is a very unique canteen. Um, I suspect with a lot of these, they had old stock that they um, brought up to the new standards, and they would just install things on here, on, on these systems, according to what they had on hand. That's what I'm guessing, and you're going to see what I'm talking about with this one. Uh, this canteen is also a Mark 7 because it has a anchor that is welded let's see if I can get a shot of that I don't know if you can see that very good but it's welded right there on the on the back of the neck that's very important the other one was the green one was on the side this is on the back of the neck all right as you look at it from the kidney side the the, the bend side okay um, 
it also has a um, has a green wool looking cover on the top of it. Okay, the uh, the cork stopper and the and the eye bolt and everything is similar to the other one. No markings on top of either one. Okay, and as you can see, it anchors to the back. Um, this one is the enamel is a blue cobalt, which is unique. Um, they did make a lot of these Mark 7s and blue cobalt for the Royal Air Force over there, but the anchor point was on the side of the neck, not on the back. Okay, so because of this, it makes it leads me to believe that this is a New Zealand manufacturer. Okay, uh, because the anchor's on the back. Number two, remember the other one was had a molded top. Okay, this one, I can feel through the cover here, has the tin can lip on the top right here. And you flip it over and it's got it on the bottom also. Okay, I, you can, you can kind of see it on the camera, but I can feel the lip here on top and bottom. All right, and this, this one was a little bit more beat up. I look inside of it, some of the enamel has been knocked off. You can't see it on the camera, but inside um, it's been beat around a lot more, which makes me think it, it it's a little older. It, it could be, because of this, a World War II manufacturer. I am not 100% sure. But one thing we got to you know, think about is I looked up about the New Zealand uh, canteens, and they... They usually came with a removable uh, cover that had a drawstring on the bottom, so you could untie the drawstring, pull the cover off of it, okay? And also, um, they had like either a wooden or a rubber stopper, is what I understand from the websites I've been to, okay? Maybe this one was updated with this wool cover that you see here. It looks very similar to the other one, same color. Stitching is a little bit different than the other one. I guess it depends on who did it. And the stopper is obviously different. It looks like it's the new standard. It's still a Mark 7 no matter how you look at it because it's got the anchor on it. But I wonder if it was a World War II manufacturer that's been brought up to the new standards. Okay. So that's the canteen. Let's take a look at the carrier. The carrier, what makes it unique... You can look at the stitching and see that it is not as good as the other one. Okay, let me get it in the camera. It's just not as nice as the, let me bring that back up here, as the first one. Okay, this looks really, really nice. Okay. So you can look at that and tell that it's not as nice as the first one. But the thing that that uh, makes it a lot different than the first one is this buckle. The first one had a snap that went across the top of the of the, of the uh, canteen. This one has a buckle, which leads me to believe, but from my research, that this cover, carrier, not cover, but carrier, could have been made in India. Okay, there's no markings on it on the inside, no date codes, no nothing, but it has this buckle, which is totally different than the other one. I don't know how how common this is, is to, ha to have these or not, but uh, this one definitely has the buckle that goes across the top. The strap though, on the other hand, is very similar to the other one. It is the MWNS, and I think it says 1942, if you hold to the light. The, the stamp is kind of faded, but I think if you hold just right, you can see 1942, I think. And then that's the, that's the arrow again, I think, okay? It's hard to see it with this camera, but it is a very similar construction strap. So it makes me wonder if these were all brought, were like extras that were brought up to the standard, the new standard by adding a new cover, um, another stopper, just pulled a, um, a webbing out of a pile somewhere and a shoulder strap 
put it all together to make a good one so anyways I think it's a pretty cool piece of, of, uh, of military history even if it is post-war I don't really care I think it's really cool this one because of the condition on the inside it's got a little rust where the uh, enamel was knocked off I, I think it was dropped a few times on its bottom and right where the seam is on the inside the enamel has been busted off and it's starting to rust so this one I'm going to take out of service for sure I'm never I'm not going to use it but this one the first one is in really good shape and I'm, I'm thinking about just using this from time to time just for fun because it looks cool I think it's really awesome um, it it holds a little bit more water but it is heavier I mean there is a trade-off so I'm not going to hike the Appalachian Trail with this or nothing like that but just for a little short day walks or something walk around with it and maybe as a conversation piece run into people on the trail and show them you know my equipment they probably might they might get a kick out of it so anyways this is my video on the mark 7 British canteen with its carriers and shoulder straps okay each one of these are a little different little unique with uh, what came with it I think it was just luck of the draw as to uh, what came with these things if you have any more information you can give me uh, please please add it in the comments for me okay uh, make sure you check out the links I put it in the description uh, it's a it's a forum a couple forums I think a couple different forums where I found some information about these these canteens those people were very nice to put the information in there with pictures so I could help identify what I had okay so thanks very much for watching my little video and I hope you have a great day